Hey guys, as you can see, I uploaded this on a Friday. I used to always upload my videos on Fridays, but I moved them to Saturdays because I would do my Friday game streams and I didn't like how they overlapped. But then I stopped doing the Friday game streams except for once a month and I didn't move the vlogs back to Friday. But now I think I will because I want to space things out a little more evenly because I do the Wednesday streams and then I sometimes do a Tuesday video, but then we have like the Tuesday, Wednesday back to back. So I would post Tuesday, Wednesday, Saturday, but I kind of want to split up that Tuesday, Wednesday block. So if the extra vlogs go up Mondays and then the usual ones go up Fridays, we can do a Monday, Wednesday, Friday split. And I feel like that just spaces out my content a little better and gets us back on that Friday upload. And then the once a month game streams would just be on a Saturday instead of a Friday. That's the schedule change. Hey guys, it is Monday. I had a great weekend with my friend Danelle. We haven't hung out in years and she came to visit me for the weekend and it was so nice. And today I'm gonna package some orders and then I, I wanna get officially started on TikTok stuff. Like I've got my new phone, I got my little tripod thing. I wanna start posting regularly and so that starts today. And I wanna make a few if possible. Although one thing I wanna to try to do more is edit everything on my phone. Like just get more familiar with all of that instead of just filming clips and then taking them over to Premiere Pro to edit. Like <laughs> do more on the phone and then just save stuff to my drafts or something. Like figure all that out. <laughs> Cause editing the TikToks on the computer is what makes me not want to make them. But yeah, I have some stuff to show you. I don't know if I'll go through all of it right now. But yesterday before my friend left, we went to Costco together and I was gonna go later this week to go get a Christmas tree, but she wanted to go to Costco. So I was like, sweet, I'll get the Christmas tree now. But we get there, we each have our own cart. And before you know it, we both have a full cart. And so I'm like, I don't know if the Christmas tree is gonna fit in your vehicle. Like she has a big vehicle, but I was like, mm, I don't know if it's gonna fit. She's reassuring me it will. But the box was so huge, like massive. I was blown away at how big this box was. And seeing the tree displayed in person, cause we were looking at the 12 foot tree, it looks so tall, I'm like, uh, I don't know, like I, I want Christian's opinion. He was not with us. So I was like, I wanna come back with Christian, get his opinion and we'll figure it out then. Plus I was already pushing a cart of stuff. I didn't wanna then have to go get one of those flatbed carts and have two carts, right? So I was like, I'm coming back. So I did go back same day with Christian to get the tree. This was yesterday. And we load up the box onto the cart, we get it all settled. We're ready to walk away. And he's like, wait a minute. He sees that it says on the top of the box, box one of two. The Christmas tree is two boxes. And I already thought it was the most massive Christmas tree box I've ever seen. It's two of them. And I was like, this is not gonna fit in my car. And so I looked online to see if I could order it online and it sold out. And so I'm like, we're doing two trips. <laughs> so I drove back with box number one while Christian stayed at Costco with box number two. And we just did two trips, but we got the tree. So. Yay! <laughs> Let me show you the boxes. <laughs> They're so big. I'm not setting it up yet because I'm not doing my decorating yet. I mean, I could still put the tree up, but our blinds are being installed later this month, so I'm not gonna put the tree in the way and then have to move it. So we'll wait till after the blinds are put in. But yeah, I'm glad we went with a 12 foot one. We measured here and a nine foot tree would just barely poke over this divider between the windows. It would just be like here. And so the 12 will fill up the space. It'll be so grand. I don't know how we're gonna decorate it. We don't have a ladder tall enough. We'll deal with that when we get to it. <laughs> and look at all these sweater boxes we have up here. <laughs> Those were delivered Friday. I may have also gotten this. At Costco. <laughs> it's a Christmas village, but it's all one piece because I've been wanting more village stuff. But this is nice and easy because it's one big thing. And the train moves around in a circle and some of the characters skate around. It's it's nice that things move around. Had to stock up on dry shampoo since the price there's too good. I just wish they had the brunette kind, but yeah. And I got two sets of cutlery because ours is very old and mismatch and we're missing a bunch of pieces too. <laughs> They're getting kind of gross and like rusty spots and just, and we just don't have enough. Like if we're hosting Christmas, we need more. So this is, I've been wanting this for years actually. <laughs> and so I saw it at Costco, I was like, wait, grab it now. 
because the stuff I had was from like my college days and I had purchased one small set from Superstore once, which is the only good cutlery we have right now. But I also hate the handles because they're roundish and so it's like, it's like this. You kind of want a flat handle. This is awful for like any kind of twirling or maneuvering. And we're always missing knives. It's slim pickings. <laughs> we need more. And then I also got some glasses because that's another thing we're missing. The glasses I have are also from my college days and I have maybe four left, three or four, because <laughs> they break over time. And so new set. Let's pull one of these out now, actually. They're very cute. And I love the wide bases. So really happy with that. I need, I need to find space for them though. I reorganized this recently in a vlog, but a lot of it is wine glasses. And so they need to move higher up or just to a different cupboard. It's like wine, champagne. These are all wine glasses. These are all wine glasses. This is the set I was talking about that I have very few of. It looks like I have three short ones and one tall one. That's all I have left. Oh wait, two tall ones, two tall ones. I mean, this is enough for us, but whenever you have guests over, you're just like, um. <laughs> Especially if something's dirty in the dishwasher, you know, you know, we just need more. And I also finally got guest towels. I went on a huge search for them a couple months ago, two or three months ago now. Didn't find what I wanted. And Costco didn't have bath sheets except for the, those Roots ones that we got for our bathroom, but we didn't get any guest ones. But this Costco had bath sheets this time I went because I want sheets, not towels. The bath sheets are much bigger. So I got some of those and some face cloths. So that was long, long overdue. Again, towels from my college days. I graduated high school 15 years ago, for reference. So, <laughs> so much of my stuff has needed replacing and updating. So between that stuff and the Christmas tree, that was an expensive Costco day. <laughs> it feels so dark and sad without the lights that reflect off the wall, but they would flicker on camera, so I just removed it when I was doing all the other new light setup. So I need to get something now, dark and dreary. Anyway, let's pack an order for Deborah. We have six little duckies, two hollow straws, two hollow bun buns, a strawberry cream, strawberry washi, a little ducky washi, and Cauldron Cutie sticker. Yeah, the vibe is not the same. It's like, look, it's dark back there. I still have those other lights, so I can put them back. <laughs> Wait, do I have any spare Christmas lights? Because even just running a strand underneath would look so cute. That wouldn't really light up the wall, but it would just look cute. Thank you card in there. Freebie sticker. A sprinkle of crinkle. I mean, it probably doesn't really need it. Ash is getting two ducky notepads. Got a rogue piece of paper stuck on the back of this one. <laughs> oh, I had three. Okay. A strawberry notepad and a four piece sassy Santa bundle. So, okay, these can go together in a sleeve. I'll use up one of these. These are the, the awkward size I ended up with that I received instead of these gusseted ones. They switched up how they work, and because they're not gusseted, they don't fit stuff like it's too narrow they advertise that inside dimensions is being a certain dimension but it's not it's actually smaller and so i'm like I have all these small ones i can't even fit the notepad in sideways into this i have to put them in this way a bit of tape just for looks it's self-adhesive i don't need to do that but i like to do that <laughs> then we'll fold over the excess Will it fit in this box? No. Uh, oh. Actually, maybe. Yeah, it will. <laughs> All right, I have 10 more orders to do. I'm just gonna do those ones off camera. We had a bit of a problem with the embroidery. For one of the orders, it was me replacing a lost order. And in the order was a sweatshirt with sleeves. 
And I do keep one spare of everything. So I had one spare of this sweater, but without the sleeves, which means we just had to add the sleeves on. But when Christian was doing the second sleeve, the fabric bunched up and it stitched through two layers. And so it's ruined. <laughs> but luckily we have more blanks because I ordered more strawberry blanks. So he just had to go digging through the box of blanks and he has to restitch everything from scratch, including the chest. But at least we have that, which is nice. Cause like, I really can't be keeping more than one extra of each sweater, unless it's one where there's like a really high quantity, then maybe I'll keep two. But like, we just don't have the space to keep a bajillion spares. Clothing, it just takes up so much space, especially sweatshirts. It's not the easiest thing to do, running from your basement. But I refuse to get a warehouse. I love working from home, it's the best thing ever. I never want a warehouse space outside the home, so we'll just do what we can. Just small batch sweater releases. <laughs> like once we got a decent amount made, send them out. Put them up for sale, which I know means smaller drops, which can be annoying because then they might sell out fast. But that's the way it's gotta be. Oh yeah, I wanna look and see if I can get bigger stacking bins because we can't fit that many sweatshirts per bin. But I spent a lot of money on those bins. So like we could still maybe use them elsewhere. Where, I don't know. Also, if we get bigger bins, it's gonna cut into our walking space back there. There's no stacking them there. You can really only fit about eight sweatshirts in one bin and they have to squish. But if they're too big, we're losing our walking space here also. Unless we do like small bins, then big ones. I don't know. I don't know, man. Another thing I've been considering is just doing almost like weekly restocks, but like a silent restock, like it's not announced. Whatever Christian got done that week, I just add to the store. Although for something new like this, it's nice to drop a nice big batch, but for something like the strawberries, like restocking them, we should just make some, put it up, make some, put it up. And then we're not holding on to large quantities of stock. So this is the one that's messed up. It has holes because the center of the flower stitched over the entire thing but just the yellow, so it must have bunched late. I don't understand how that really happened, but it's got two holes. So if I just sell it cheap, maybe someone will want it and they'll be willing to patch it because it's got both sleeves done and the chest, and it's nice, like these are nice blanks. But it's not worth it for me to try to patch it and then sell it discounted like with my goofy ass patch job, like it's not worth it for me to put in the time. So that will be a future B grade. So I had a Halloween category on my website and I've changed it to holidays. And so it's all the Christmas and winter stuff from last year, because there's not gonna be anything new that's themed. But when I did it for Halloween, it gave me a good little boost in Halloween products. And also on the main page, if you scroll past new arrivals, it's underneath as well. Just got a delivery. I'm gonna have to censor the heck out of this because there are labels all over. <laughs> this is my order from Sugar Bunny Shop. It was pre-ordered a while ago and just came in now. Doo -doo -doo -doo. <laughs> I've ordered from her shop once before. She does a lot of cottagecore type stuff, which is right up my alley. Oh my God. So we have this t-shirt, Needy Kitten Look. Look how cute. I think this is screen printed. Adorbs. Wait, did I order these stickers? I don't think so. These might be freebies. We got this bunny. We got this bunny. And this bunny. And a little thank you card. This little one. Oh yeah, I can't even remember everything I bought. So this one's a magnet and it's like a wooden pin, but just a magnet on the back instead of a pin. Cause there are so many places I could stick this in this room. Like I've got all the metal shelving and stuff. So I figured a magnet would be perfect. And I love how this is cut all the way to the edge with no border. So then we have this t-shirt here. Eee! Another kitty one. This is the Halloween-y one. I mean, I guess it's not overly Halloween. It's just witchy. I'm still gonna wear it year round. So effing cute. Her stuff's so cute. And there's a couple tea towels. Look how they're folded. I would love to do tea towels. It's been on my wish list for like two years to do tea towels. So one of them's the same design as the shirt, which is the needy kitten. Oh, I see, oh. I didn't realize the design was on just a small part of the towel like that, but I guess that's perfect for hanging it because we do fold it over and we hang it through one of our um, handles, the drawer pulls. So that's what you would see. I guess it's also bigger than I thought, like it's huge. And then the other design, noosh, noisy baby. The other design is the bonnie bunny. Carrot patch. It's gonna be painful using these because <laughs> it's 
scared that it's gonna get all stained as towels do. Okay, now there's one more thing, which was one of the big ticket items. One of the more expensive items, because it's a whole set. The Whisker Wonders Parade of Paws. Mystery wood stand. Well, yeah, you can get mystery ones, but I bought the whole set, so I'll have one of each. Got a cute little card as a ticket. Collect all eight. What are you doing over there? Did you hit your knee again? Yep. <laughs> oh my god. Just He's got a big old bruise on his knee and he keeps whacking just it. Tapping it to like, come on, do that. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so, these link together. Oh, wait. The stands are all different. Wait, who gets what stand? Maybe it doesn't matter, but it doesn't show on here. Like this one has lollipops. So should the lollipop guy go on the lollipop stand? Maybe. And the flower one go on the flower stand. These are too cute. Wait, I think I have to put this the other way so that the bases can link together. There we go. There's a bone one, which maybe goes with this guy. There's one with candies. I feel like the rest are a little more neutral. Wait, there's stars here and this one has stars on it. So maybe, although this should be at the front. It's got the lantern. This one has candies, so maybe the trick-or-treater. These two just have leaves, but one has streamers, which is maybe party, a party hat. I'm gonna so does that one. This one has little triangles on it, like little cloths. Okay, I'm consulting the website pictures. The one with the streamers goes with the other party hat. And then this party one has the one with the triangles. So does that mean the wagon has the leafy one? Yes, okay. And there's the full parade of paws. Oh my God, so cute. I might leave this up year round. Like my thought was it would be Halloween decor, but one, do I need more Halloween decor? No. Two, it's, it's too cute to just only have up for one time of the year. I ordered all that stuff just before my birthday. So that was my little birthday gift to myself. And I love everything. It doesn't really match the aesthetic, but the Parade of Paws would fit perfectly on this ledge, or even down here, I guess. This is all just a temporary setup with those stones. Same with art I have yet to hang, including my gold play button. That's just been sitting there, but if I free up the ledge, I could have the little Parade of Paws down there. <gasps> and the Koroks could go on the other one. This one might get more direct sun, so maybe the Parade of Paws should go there, and then the Koroks here, because the Koroks are resin and they need to be out of the sunlight as much as possible. I missed it. She had her head down sniffing at those things. I was like, uh-uh, you leave them alone. It kind of looks silly there, but that's where they're gonna live. I don't know where to put the crystals and rocks and stuff yet, so they're just sitting on top. But there are the Koroks. <laughs> Hopefully that's out of the sun enough. I mean, I want them to be somewhere where I can enjoy them, right? It just... I'd rather enjoy them and have them fade over time and turn yellow rather than not ever see them. All right, the remake is ready. Poor Christian has to like swap out all the arms of the machines to do different things. Like, for example, you have to put the name on the sweater. Usually he'll just do all the names in one day, but he had to hook up the fast clamp just to do this name. Which, by the way, we're now stitching the names and the red thread on these ones because I'm now going for a high contrast color look for the names. So both Pink and Sandstone are getting the logo stitched in red going forward. For example, here's this one stitched in the green. I'll just take a color out of the design to use for the name. Originally I was trying to match the sweater color and make it more subtle, but we're not doing that anymore. Also, I did just post a TikTok revealing this. Ugh, this pink and purple looks so good together. Just did a bit of a photo shoot for the sweaters because I was just feeling it. I was like, I'm wearing it. Let's just take some possible product photos. Oh God, I have not curated these yet. <laughs> My phone's stylus has a button on it and if you press it, it'll act as a shutter and so I can take remote photos. That's why I'm holding it in all the pictures. <laughs> Hello there. I took a lot with the front camera because it seemed easier. My feet will be cropped out, ignore that, but. <laughs> okay, which ones were front camera, which were back? This was probably back. The back cameras are obviously better, but I couldn't see what the heck I was doing. 
Okay, that's kind of cute. Maybe if I wasn't wearing the freaking slides, but yeah, the, the product photos are square, so that'll get cropped out, I guess. But if I wanted something full body, I'm looking dorky. Black socks with tan slides. Anyway, oh, and some close-ups, yeah. So at least for some full body pics, I've got some. And I'll take close-ups of the sweater just like folded and whatnot another day. As for the TikToks, I have one made and one in my drafts, both related to this. <laughs> I need something else to space them out. Also, I don't want to post too much about this before it actually releases. But on the flip side, if I wait till it's released and then I post it and a video pops off, then it's going to be even harder for you guys to get your hands on it. And I'm going to get even more flooded with orders. The posting needs to slow down once it launches, maybe. <laughs> but yeah, I need to save at least some stuff for when they're actually released. And the rest could be hype buildup. But like if some random person comes across your video and it's not available yet, they're just going to keep scrolling. Like some people might follow just for a reminder, but most people won't. They'll be like, oh, this isn't available yet. Okay, scroll. Whereas if it is available, maybe they'll impulse buy it. Oh, and my new lighting in here. Such a lifesaver when it comes to filming in random spots. Like usually standing here, I would have way too much light coming from the windows and not enough coming this way. So now I can just more easily film in more places and have good lighting. Yeah! I just ate pizza pops and got pizza pop sauce on my sweater. Also look at these two little babies. Just got a little boo-boo up by her ear. I don't know if it was from them playing too rough or what. Let me see. Oh, there it is. See that? Poor Kiki. Or it's possible she just scratched herself too hard, but either way, sad. So sad. I'm currently updating my thank you cards because I need to order more. And we had the old bunny avatar on there. So I'm changing it up to the Bailey J wreath and therefore I took the Bailey J part off the top because we don't need to say Bailey J twice. So I've been doing, so I've been doing a random print on the back and I try to make it something that isn't a print in the store. So that's why we had bottle buns. And then I was struggling for this one because I really badly want to do tulip bun, but that's already a print. I'm not going to make it also a freebie print because people already spent their money on that and they'd probably be mad if it was a freebie. But I did do it on my business cards, which look like this, although it's sideways. But I don't use this for much, really. I gave some to my mom and Christian's mom, but I haven't handed any out myself. I do keep some in my purse just in case, but it's pretty basic. It doesn't even say what I do, except I guess there's the word art in there. Really J art. But yeah, I was like, okay, fine, not tulip bun, and I don't want it to be duckies either. Pretty much all my recent art has been made into prints. I decided on this one. You know, this was never a print or anything, and so it would make a good freebie print, I guess. And I'm going to order 3,000 instead of 5,000 this time, just so hopefully they last a little less long. I mean, the last ones I did order about a year ago. It maybe took a little over one year to get through them. But I'm going to reduce to 3,000, and then when they're out, I can swap it out for new art. That way I'm just not stuck with the same thing for quite as long. I was very tempted to use this as the art on the thank you card, although it would have to be cropped, just like the other one. Because this is much more recent, but... The scan for this also does not look very good. It's picking up too much of the texture of the paint. It's looking at it in real life so much better. Ugh, cleaning it up would be a pain in the butt. Put the moth sweater in the wash along with our new Costco towels. And speaking of Costco, I've been swindled. I was opening everything up to put it away and I wanted to get some of the new dishes in the dishwasher. And when I was opening the glassware, one of the tall glasses is missing from the set. So. I'm gonna have to exchange it. I just went to Costco three times in one day and now I'm going back. <laughs> I'm gonna go on Wednesday because I will be in that area for a car appointment and I booked it for Wednesday not really thinking and so I'm not gonna stream Wednesday but I'm gonna stream Tuesday instead tomorrow. My car appointments for 10 a.m. Costco opens at 9 so if I get there right at 9 that should leave me plenty of time to do the exchange because you never know what the lineup's gonna be like. Yeah and then I can make my way to my car appointment and I anticipate being there all day. <laughs> I'm getting the block heater installed and an oil change since I'm there. They might as well just do that too. So the appointments for both and I don't have any clue how long this block heater thing's gonna take to put in. I don't even know for sure if they're gonna be able to do it. Like we just don't need a repeat of last winter where I almost got stranded in Gravelberg during that cold snap because I didn't have a block heater to plug my car in and so it died <laughs> twice. But because of the Costco cup situation, I'm gonna open up the Costco midi village thing right now. Hmm. 
<laughs> Simple setup, heck yeah. Heck yeah, let's take a pause on the dishwasher. We don't need that noise. <laughs> Not too heavy, which is nice. I'm assuming you just plug it in and turn it on. There's a dial in the back. I wonder if that's for volume. Okay, there's two ons. Oh, one's with sound, one's without sound. So let's try with sound. songs it has <laughs> it's so cute train spins around some nice blinky lights skaters spinning how cute how jovial how merry and bright it's the perfect addition to my village and an easy addition plug it in turn it on Okay, it's the next morning. I was about to get some breakfast, and I see this. Um, the tripod is sitting on the staircase upside down. That's actually kind of freaky, but at the same time, I know what it is. I just didn't realize it last night. Kiki had the zoomies, and it was ripping downstairs, and we heard stuff fall over. But we came down to inspect and thought it was just this thing. Although, thinking about it now, this wouldn't be loud enough, because this was on its side. It does have a metal base. So it can be a little loud, but I think she also knocked the tripod down, which must have been sitting close to the staircase, I guess. I mean, it might have been just sitting out in the open from when I filmed that. And maybe she zoomed down and it caught her. <laughs> oh, I hope she didn't hurt herself. It was too funny, but also sad. Most of the snow has melted. We've had some pretty warm days. Like Sunday was 13 degrees Celsius. We got a bit of a tree update here on the short piece of the tree. I think it's forking because we've got this little guy here and now this one. Right now there's only one main fork in the tree and there'll possibly be more because these little offshoots have grown and if they get covered in bark, then it's like a true branch, I guess. <laughs> like I assume they're gonna get barky, but it's taken a long time. But this little guy here, I think is gonna fork. So I ended up not even streaming this. I was pretty much all set up for it and then thought, you know what? I just want to chill and watch a bunch of YouTube videos. I had a bunch of juicy ones sitting in my sub inbox and I was like, I just want to get through some of these and chill. And it's not even a stream day. No one was expecting a stream that day. I hadn't announced it anywhere yet. And I was like, I am just going to chill and paint. And I knew I could get more done off stream too. And so that's what I did because the thing about live streams they're live. If you're busy that day, you have to make it up on a different day or something. It's not something you can pre-film. And if I'm busy on a stream day, I'm busy on a stream day. I don't have to make it up. And so I just had a chill day. Although I did end up actually streaming the next day. I ended up having time, as you'll see in the next bit. But I was thinking, do I need to film the entire process of this painting? No. People are probably sick of it at this point, honestly. But this day that I was working on it, I knew it was prime time because I was finally going to be painting the candle, which is the main focal point of the piece. And so I was like, okay, fine, I'll paint it. So the first thing I did was I glazed over that trinket box in the top right hand corner because it was quite bright and I knew I'd be glazing over some parts of this. So my values were there. I just had to grab some brown and slop it over the whole thing. And it looks quite good, honestly. And I will be doing more of that on the necklace. Needs more glazing, but I wanted to get more detail in and just, you know, get more of the shading because a lot of it was flat color still. So I was like, okay, let's get some shading in then we can glaze on a future layer. Now the glazed areas are more glossy than the rest of it. So the, the gloss level does not match. The book, like look at the shading underneath the trinket box on the book. It looks so matte. And then the trinket box looks, box looks glossy. So that is why it's good to varnish your paintings at the end because it helps even out the amount of gloss across the whole thing. So that'll look better in the future. And there's still finishing touches needed on the books and stuff. There's gonna be a lot of finishing touches still needed, 
But yeah, here we are working on the candle, getting down a nice juicy layer of oil. It looks so good compared to the acrylic because the acrylic was showing a lot of white through and just looked kind of patchy. And so the oil is just looking so much better. And I didn't film every little thing I worked on because I also did all the objects on the left-hand side, like the corner candle, the pen handle, the coins, and the little tray that the, can the candle's sitting on. I worked on all of that. And so almost everything has a layer of oil now except the duckies. They are the one thing that I have not touched yet, but since I was doing so much of the wax, I didn't want to risk smudging it when doing the duckies. So I'm saving it for another day. And I figure this was a great chance to also do the drips on the candle because I'm working wet on wet. And that way we just get some better color in there. You know, like I, again, I'll do f more detail on a future layer, but the wet on wet was perfect for the wax drips and the wax drips. Mm, I have a little torn about how much I like them. Obviously it's really cool overall, but there's something about them I don't like. I will need to do some glazing over them in the future, but maybe it's just because they're a little bit bulbous. They almost look a little cartoony, but I, you know, this isn't, this isn't hyper realism. So I guess it, it can look cartoony, but maybe you need to tone some of it down. Like I added a lot of highlights to the tips of the drips and I think it just makes them pop a little too much. So. I'll fix it up in the future. You know, this is not finished. It's still a work in progress as I will be <laughs> for a while, but I feel like I made a good chunk of progress on this day. Like I'm feeling so good about where it's at and how much is left. Like we're getting close-ish to the home stretch. It just depends how much more detail I need to put in. So here's how it's looking so far with all the details done on the left-hand side. Cause like I said, I didn't show that part. So here's your look at that and how that's going. Okay, it's now Wednesday morning and I went to Costco, returned my glasses, got new ones. I ended up getting a second set because I regretted only getting one. I feel like I want them to be our forever glasses and you know some are gonna break. So got two and when I got to my car, I checked them to make sure all the cups are there, we're good. And now I'm at Volkswagen. I just dropped off my car and they're not gonna do the block heater. <laughs> So they told me that they don't put engine block heaters in their vehicles, like in none of them. It's just not something they do. And they're like, oh, you should be fine throughout the winter, especially if your battery's new, which mine was like last winter when I got stuck, my battery was less than two years old and I still got stuck and had to get my car boosted twice. And they're like, the only option is to get an aftermarket one, which they don't keep in stock. And they're gonna give me a quote stuff. We're gonna look into it, but it's like, what? why would you let me book the appointment if it's not something you do. Cause I was gonna do that and get an oil change. So they're still gonna do the oil change. And I guess there's a recall on the gear shift cover, which actually sounds kind of familiar. I think I got a letter about that in the mail a few years ago. So they're gonna do the recall thing and the oil change, but not the block heater, which is the main reason for booking the appointment. So yes, Volkswagen's here and across the street, we have a Dollarama. I'm gonna go in there. I briefly popped into a Winners cause Costco was so quick. I was like, I have time to kill, but I ended up not really having much time to look around and had to leave. I'll show you what I got there later though. But I'm trying to find stuff to use, like stocking stuffer type stuff because I'm doing one of those saran wrap balls like I did for my friends that one year. So I need small items, preferably things that are kind of flat to fill this ball with. And so Dollarama's a good place to look for that kind of stuff. Maybe some socks. These are so cute. There are a lot of cats in the family, so this could be a good item. It's getting a bit big, but I'm gonna have to take them out. I'm gonna get an extra one for Kiki Midna. An ornament could be a good item if I can find a cute one. The only one I really like is this Santa, but he's too big. He's also broken. I'm still gonna buy him for my tree though. Walk away, walk away. You just got a village thing. By the way, the village thing I just got, someone ahead of me at Costco was returning it. I wonder why, maybe it was broken. This is so cute. Christian requested coffee crisp. I think he's having Halloween candy withdrawals. For this saran wrap ball, I'm getting these little mint. Oh, wait, I already bought a container of mints. I mean, there could be two. A little thing of mini eggs. I mean, where are the odds the same person's getting both mints? We'll put a pause on that. We got wooden acorns and mushrooms. These would be so cute for product photography if you paint them. I grabbed ring pops too for the saran wrap thing. Well, there's a Staples right across from us, so let's check it out. The shape of this. <laughs> oh 
my god, you guys. <laughs> a pizza cutter. Usually I have one or two of my reusable bags in my purse, but I used them last weekend and then put them back in. So my purse is stuffed with Dollarama stuff and now I'm carrying stuff. So at Winners, I got these side tables. I've been on the lookout for side tables for months for these chairs. This is the exact size I wanted and it just matches the look in here because I've got the, the gold look. Like look at this mushroom lamp. It goes perfectly with that. You know, it's... Ah! I've got one at each green chair. Oh yeah. I do feel like I need something beside the couch here, although I do have the tables behind that you can put drinks and things on. So I might get something for here, but it doesn't really need it. But what a find, what a find. I gotta take the tags off still. I just wanted to see how they looked. And I got this tablecloth because I wanna cover the table at Christmas time. This thing is a crumb catcher because it's got all these cracks and stuff. And so I wanted a tablecloth and I got one. It's kind of ripped open, but I got it anyway. Hopefully there's nothing wrong with it. So cute, so cute. So that was also from Winners. And this little cat wine stopper, I'm gonna take it out of the box and it's gonna be part of the saran wrap gift thing. I still can't get over how cute this is. I almost should have bought two. I mean, maybe maybe I'm the person who's gonna win it in the saran wrap game. And this, so gorgeous. It's from Staples, if you want one. I should make something like this, like a product for my store with the gold leaf, and then I could have a printed design on the cover. Cause I could go more detailed than I do with the embroidery stuff, so. Hmm, getting product ideas. So while I was out shopping, the guys at Volkswagen were looking to see if they could get me an aftermarket block heater, but there are none for my car. So I couldn't get one even if I wanted to. <laughs> so. Um. Let's hope I survive the winters. I mean, I'm mostly okay. It's just that there's a cold snap. That's when it gets dicey. Maybe if there's a cold snap, don't travel to Gravelberg. <laughs> At least I don't have to have the expense for parts and labor for putting something like that in. But it still kind of sucks. But yeah, since I was done way earlier than expected, I can still stream today. It's about one o'clock. So I won't be starting too, too late. I gotta figure out what I'm streaming and set up and I can still stream just a little bit late. I can't work on the painting more because it's wet and I need it to dry. And it's now Friday, the stream went well. I ended up drawing another Luna Moth from another angle because then if I'm gonna make it into like a washi or a notepad, we're not just repeating the same Luna Moth throughout. So we got side view and you can see his fuzzy little body. I'm not gonna include footage from that. You can just go watch the live stream on my channel if you want. The live streams are kept in a separate tab than the rest of the videos, but they're all there to rewatch if you like. Oh, look at him. Look at all the colors. Cute baby. And I just realized why this was annoying me so much in the stream. It's lowered. Like usually it's something I bonk my forehead on, but it's way down here. I was wondering why it was just so in my face. I guess because it was literally in my face. I just sprayed this thing. It's got two coats and it's been sitting outside the whole time I've been editing this vlog. I kind of forgot about it. But now i got to spray this page. I like to spray all the sketchbook pages just so they don't transfer. While editing, I realized I never updated how these things looked because I ended up putting the ticket behind the Parade of Paws thing. And so it fills the space a little bit more. And then for the Korox, I put my little treasure chest of stones back there and a couple of my crystals just to fill the space so it doesn't feel as empty. And cause I just need a spot for that stuff. The rest of it's just sitting on top of here still. When I first moved the vlogs to Saturdays, Thursday was supposed to be my editing day, but most of the time I would end up editing on Friday instead, but that would cut into my filming time for the Tuesday vlog. And so the way I'm doing it now, it's like, okay, I'm editing on Thursday, posting Friday. There's no wiggle room to extend that. So that's gonna be nice. Just keep me a little more on track, on schedule. But that is it for this vlog. I'm just gonna add these final few clips into the edit. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.